Hello everyone. Let's provide the solutions to this problem. We have square root of 2 square root of x equal to square root of x. How do we deal with this? The first thing is to remove the, the square root, right? So we have square root of 2 square root of x. Okay, I will square this. Then on the other side, I have square root of x, which I will square. Now, the square root and this will cancel, leaving out, leaving out the inner square root. Then this and this will cancel. So we have 2 square root of x to be equal to x. Okay, so from here, the next thing I will do is to divide by 2 and divide this by 2. Remember, if you do the same thing on both sides, it will not change the equation, right? So this and this will go. Now square root of x is equal to x over 2. Now I still want to do the same thing on both sides, and that is to square both sides. This will be x over 2. Here we square because I needed to remove the square root from there so that this can cancel this. Then x here is equal to x over 2 squared, right? Now let's continue from here. Okay, so x here is equal to x squared. Okay, then over... 2 squared that will give 4 okay this is to tell you that the square here is for both the numerator and the denominator right okay the next thing I will do is to cross multiply so I have remember this is over 1 x squared times 1 is x squared then this will be equal to x times 4 which is 4x bring everything to the left hand side so that x squared minus 4x will be equal to 0 and in this case i can now apply factorization method to solve this because x is a common factor let it come out then we have one x here and here we have four this will be equal to zero right okay now from here we apply zero product rule this is how we do it okay the zero product rule says that it is either x here is equal to zero or x minus four here is equal to zero right so if x is equal to zero then x minus four can also be equal to zero x here remains zero or on the other side x is 0 plus 4 x here remains 0 or on this side x is equal to 4 bringing the solutions together x is equal to 0 or 4 now let's go back to the original equation and put in the values remember we got square root of 2 square root of x equal to square root of x okay in this case it means that if i should put in the value of x as 0 then we have 2 into 0 which will be equal to x here let me bracket this let me put this in circle because it may not be equal and here i put 0 2 times 0 will give us 0 so we have square root of 0 and then square root of um, 0 okay so this means that x to be 0 satisfies then let's try x to be 4 I'm going to have square root of 2 into square root of 4 because x is 4 equal to square root of 4 from here square root of 4 here is going to give us 2 so we have 2 times 2 
okay and on the other side we have square root of 4 as well now if you take a step you can multiply the inside so that you have um square root of 4 which is equal to square root of 4. now this is a confirmation that um x to be equal to 4 also satisfies i hope that this is clear enough thank you for watching